Hi guys, it's me Bulai. So today I'm going to review this Ape Man 1080p action camera. All right. So the reason why I was inspired to do this is because all of my decent cameras broke. So I was inspired to review this camera because I'm left with this iPhone 4S as the best camera that I have. And as you can see by the quality of my face right now, this camera only shoots, the front facing camera shoots, I think 4, 480p, which is tiny. <laughs> which is not a good resolution. But this one shoots 1080p, so my question is, how good is it for vlogging? Am I better off with my iPhone 4S? On the way to here, to my parents' place, um, I decided to use this as my main vlogging camera to see how well it holds up. Check it out. But before we get into the vlog, I just wanted to talk about price for one sec because that's important. So I looked it up on Amazon. I borrowed the camera, so I didn't really buy it. But I looked it up on Amazon and you can get this exact camera for $35. And it comes with like the casing and a bunch of other accessories, just links down below. $35 is equivalent to about 1,750 pesos, which you can't go wrong. However, unfortunately, in the Philippines on Lazada.com, the camera goes for about 5,536 pesos, which is way more expensive if you don't if you want a equivalent that's about 110 USD. Don't know if it's worth it because there are a bunch of other cameras on the Zada that look ha they seem like they have the same specs. So I'm wondering if it's the same camera just branded differently. If I reach a hundred dollars a month on Patreon, I'll gladly buy the under 2K action cameras from Lazada and compare it against this Ape Man so that we can see if it's worth it or not or something like that. All right, what's up, people? Today I'm going to Romulun. I have a bunch of errands to do before we go. Um, I will be vlogging with this 8-man camera. Okay, so the first thing that's really blaring is that the 8-man the footage is super fisheye and it's kind of annoying to watch. So I'm gonna fix that by adding this lens distortion removal thing. I'll use the GoPro thing because it kind of looks like GoPro footage. And then I'll fudge around the numbers a little bit. Yeah, all right, play. It's like a GoPro type thing. And I will be making a review of it. I'm going to Rumblun because my parents are there. They've been in the Philippines since February. And I haven't gotten a chance to visit and they haven't gotten a chance to visit me. So, I'm doing that right now. I'm on the way to Mass right now. And I think I'm late because I always forget that Alliance of the Two Hearts starts Mass five minutes early. So, I gotta get there. Ay, 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 ay. Malls, I don't know why they're so big. I don't know why they made SMC side so big. I had three stores to go to and I feel like I walked three miles because I couldn't even find and there's no like directory or a map. So just uh, finished packing. It is 4.30. My flight's at 7.30. I'm going to get to the airport a little bit early because they have fast Wi-Fi, I think. I hope I'll upload some videos and schedule them. Alright. Ready to go. Hi Angelo, thanks for giving me this tongue twister. <laughs> Alright, I got you. Ready? 
Pro Anwang Gayu Gayu Sakan Yugan Yugan. Do I have to say it like 50 times fast? Is that what a tongue twister is? Pro Anwang Gayu Gayu Sakan Yugan Yugan. Pro An. I don't feel like I'm speaking. Maybe we should ask somebody. <laughs> Maybe we should go back and ask Angelo. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so final thoughts on the 8-man 1080p action camera. So I like the small size of the camera because if you're vlogging, it's always annoying when you draw so much attention to yourself. The small size makes it like stealth. I like that the lens is really wide. Uh, the iPhone cameras are super zoomed in, so it's really hard to get any interesting shots. I don't like the fish eye, but I can easily, in a matter of seconds, fix that in post. So. Um, to a point where it's good or it doesn't bother me anymore, so that's not that much of a con. The image quality is not very good on the 8-man. If you like pause it and like really look at the picture, it's not sharp. It's just pretty bad, but um, it's still way better than the iPhone 4S front-facing camera. You might be wondering why I don't use it back, the normal camera. On the iPhone 4S, it's because it's zoomed in so much that I can't tell if my head is being cut off or like if I'm even in frame or like if the camera's like up my nose. Yeah, so I try to stay away from that. I really don't mind the way that the saturation and the color comes out. It's very vibrant, it's very saturated, it's very contrasty. So when it comes out, it looks pretty good and I don't really feel like touching it in post. Normally, when I want to make a really good video, I'll set the camera to be the least saturated and the least um, least contrasty to keep in the most detail but uh, with a camera that has this poor image quality I don't think I can salvage much salvage I mean that in the American sense and the audio is probably the worst part of it the audio is pretty terrible but I you know changed the levels and the gain a bit here and there and it came out pretty decent where it's not super distracting so in conclusion, I think this camera is usable for vlogging. If you don't have anything else, this is great. I enjoyed the process and I think I was able to create something that's interesting without the poor quality being too distracting. I would definitely still prefer a dedicated point and shoot camera with a flip out screen or a mirrorless camera. If you plan on doing both action-y things, underwater things, and vlogging, you can get away with an action cam. You can get away with this 8N. That's my review of this camera. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully I'll have links down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like this video if you want to see more of it.